Okay, so we're at the next stage now of the 500 Islander build process. So uh, the transom is in, uh, same laminate goes on the outside of the transom between the transom core and the gel coat and then the same laminate again over the top. So super strong uh, there to last forever. And um, we put uh, a 35 millimeter core in, so super heavy duty um, and will never rot. And then going forward, we have the stringers, they're all tagged in um, along with the keel. The keel is completely glass in, did that at the same time as the transom. Um, so the stringers are a single molded piece um, of fiberglass, so they're super strong and uh, super rigid. And we will put drains in at the front and the back, so if you do get any water in these compartments, uh, we'll drain out through the bung in the rear. Uh, down the side you'll notice there's compartments and chambers. Uh, once the floor goes down, these are all completely sealed, so you have effectively airtight compartments down the sides. And provided your bungs in, you have airtight compartments in the middle as well, so you're very safe, you know, just keep super buoyant. Um, even if you were to leave your bung out, your boat would still float, as there's a lot of buoyancy down the side of these chambers, so uh, really nice and safe and um, no rot, so it'll last a lifetime. The floor is ready to go down. That's just a sunlight patch from the door, so don't worry, <laughs> nothing wrong there. So this one's gonna have a build setup, so a little bit different um, than the self-draining deck, um, but we're ready to go down. So this is a 12.7 millimeter thermal light floor, uh, which is ultra bonded to the tops of the C-section stringers with bracing going across the middle. Unfortunately, I didn't have any photos of that video. I will put some in though, so you can see that. Uh, tomorrow morning we'll prep the surface, so we'll have to turn wipe the whole thing, make sure it's all nice and clean, um, sand off any high spots, um, so there's no, there's no inconsistencies when we're fiberglassing tomorrow, so this will all be fiberglassed over tomorrow. Um, with It will be about three to four millimeters of fiberglass over the top of the floor, so super thick, super heavy duty. And then we will use the same cloth that you saw when we're securing the stringers to go from this point here to the floor out to the sides of the hull so that the whole hull and sides and everything is all structurally joined together with structural fiberglass so that's db um, nice and heavy nice and thick sorry about the background noise um, and then yeah you got your ski hook ski pads down here in the rear on each side so yeah it's coming along nicely and um we'll be out the mold in a couple of days now so it won't be long